Hey y'all, I'm going to be reacting to Saint Seiya episode 43, and I'll be starting this from the two minute mark in one, zero, go. And it'll be a reaction to its original series, which Big Bang Battle on the Towers Temple, and it'll be a reaction to its, to the episode with its Japanese audio and English subtitles, and dang, it's looking cool, the animation. That's reckless, though. Because, oh, I guess that's... I guess they have no choice because of the... time they have to work with. Now's our chance. Move. I mean, hey, hopefully the advantage of the game works. Oof. I mean, I guess it wasn't going to be easy. I mean, this guy is a gold saint, so he ain't going to be a joker scrub. I can only hope him keeping them in there is a mistake. And that's his undoing of the Golden Saint. <laughs> what a cocky son of a bitch. Hmm. Well, that's going to be easier said than done, though. And you know, he's right because when Seiya was flying to Olia, Olia kind of was getting the upper hand, even though Seiya had the stronger claw, so. He ain't wrong, Mu. And that helps give what he's saying a lot more weight, and I love that. It shows you how structured the writing of the series really is. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh. And the way he says it with such confidence, I'm loving it. <laughs> Whoa. Talk about cockiness to the mat! <laughs> okay. Okay, now it's kind of looking like a, a maze now. My! Yes! Good thing he's got nice amounts of athleticism. Sure, we can just make the pillars that say it was on fall. Yeah, like right now. Oh shit, I remember the last time he fell. When he was fighting Jamie and he broke his hand. Okay, good, good, good. I guess that wasn't such a deep fall. I'm thinking it's Cosmos Manipulation. Mm-hmm. All right, he's making some leg way. Oh, yo, animation's been dynamic there. Pegasus, meter punch, yes! <laughs> kind of sounds like um, Star Wars noises a little bit. Ooh.
True, not even Ellie managed to do that. Uh, hope. Oh, my. Actually, how many layers of wall is in this temple? I'm just curious. I can only hope that's actual, that's just pain. That's just the illusion being caused by the pain and then that's not his actual body breaking. I actually like that little explanation there, there too, showing you already the tangible effects of Mu fixing the cloth. Dang, that was hella intimidating looking too. Jeez! All right. Looks like he's now on the line between life and death. Maybe now that he's near death, he's going to be able to unlock that seventh sense. Yeah, that's going to help him out since he's losing all of his senses. He should be now, it should at the very least allow him to tap into that seventh sense now. Because he's going to have to rely on a different sense. If he... And I like that. We, we know that Sori isn't communicating towards Sia right now. So that's likely the chemicals of his brain. Give me like an image of Sodi to sort of give himself an actual push. Oh wait, that's actually Sodi? Dang, I thought that was a hallucination from the pain. <laughs> okay, that's an impressive feat if she can do that while she's in pain. Okay, respect. I like that. Oh, Marin. True. Yeah. And besides, he can't allow himself to die, too, because Marin risked so much to keep Seiya alive. And that's truly what makes his life extremely valuable, aside from Seiya being a nice and sweet individual. And I even like too how they have Marin utilize the sword and unsheathing it. Puts into it actually puts into context why he made that example earlier in the specific episode. That's a good point. She okay, I'm curious to see if he's actually gonna figure it out.
you know, it makes us seem even more potent. They say that if you're close to death, your life will flash before your very eyes. So I also like this too, it's showing say a drop every single bit of his memory just to survive. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yo, that was cool. Dang, in moments like that, it makes, now, like, it shows you why Marin always has such high hopes for Seiya. Being able to figure things out in tough situations like that. That right there is amazing writing. Oh, fuck. Now, like, man, when the fuck is Iki gonna show up? Like, seriously. He's taking his... <laughs> Yo, it's so high, he doesn't even recognize the same as Cosmos anymore. Yo! Mm. That's mug. That's fire. That's mug. Handsome ass. Huh? Okay. Hmm. Oh. And you know what else I like about this sequence? Since he specifically mentioned Saudi. I like how it pretty much shows you that if they didn't bring Saudi with them, Seiya would have probably died in this specific instance, so I like that too. Again, showing that the Saudi, even though she's injured and on the ground, she's not a dead weight. And I like that. Because for a lot of animes, when a character is usually in Saudi situations, they would usually just be real like, like they would just be utilized as a damsel in distress, so I like that too. No, I love it. Maybe he's aiming for like the background so that the buildings will fall on on Taurus. I think that's what Say is going for. Oh. Huh? Whoa! <laughs> yes, it's possible. It's not a fucking player! <laughs> Dang, that looks like a nice comment. <laughs> Yo, the animation's beautiful too, like the way the rocks are rising. And then, like, the way his feet are shaking in the ground and you see the rocks shaking. I love that effect. I'm hoping he can do the Big Bang again. <laughs> oh, no. So we stopped into it. Oh, true, because he's not going to be utilizing offensive stances now. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, shit. Is he going to go for, like, that ultimate attack? Similar to what... Sh um... And you know what I love about this? Seiya's red, so it kind of looks fitting because usually bulls would go after the red cape when they go up against the matadors. Oh, so the shining chest. So could it mean like his chest is vulnerable when he does that? And maybe that could be a potential weakness? Hmm. Okay, that's good news. <laughs> I'd be kind of worried if it was draining. I mean, I like how, oh, that's cute. He says, I must kill him before he poses a threat, as if say it wasn't already a threat. <laughs> oh, man. This man's, Alberon's delusion, delusions. <laughs> he just cracked a smile to my face. Wait, he was able to grab it with his hand? I wonder if he's gonna infuse it with this um Pegasus Meteor Punch. Damn, he was close. All right, at least we got confirmation there. <laughs> really? <laughs> hey, that just means Aldebron probably hits like a bitch. <laughs> Oh man, that's gotta hurt his pride as a man. <laughs> okay, let's see this. Wait, it's already been another hour? Yo, but it's been more like 23 minutes though. 21 minutes. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> yep, the dude's do. Say the steam plane. <laughs> oh, yeah, Pegasus. Yeah. Dang, that is way too cool. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I thought we were going to see. See, Unleash Hell in that. Oh. But you know what? Uh, I'm a patient man. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm not, because I'm just going to watch the next episode immediately. <laughs> All right. That, that, was, that, was some good sh that was some great shit. Thought this episode was not and it's unworthy, because for one, what I really love about this episode was just... Uh, damn. Damn intensity of this episode. Holy cow. Because for one, I love how it starts out by raising the stakes, by having... Hyoga, Shun, and Sunyo all knocked the fuck out with just this first singular attack by Alderaan, and that's without him aiming at them directly. So I like that bit of writing because it just makes the episode feel intense because it's like, yeah, these gold saints, uh, they ain't fucking around. Then additionally, what I also like about this episode was when it came to Seiya achieving his seventh sense, it wasn't easy because it literally took him being on the brink of death and temporarily not being able to utilize his senses in order for him to gain a sense of utilizing it. And then on top of that, getting some support from Saori in order to do that. So that's another thing I like about this episode. Showing you that in order for the seventh sense to be utilized, it ain't going to be just easyville utilizing it. You're going to have to work your butt off in order to utilize the seventh sense abilities. And I like that. Because it feels like a power-up that's earned. It doesn't feel like it's fucking awarded or gifted. Because I've seen way too many enemies crying to where if a character gets a power-up, it's fucking awarded or gifted. Without that character even working towards it or achieving it. Or they achieve it, it's through like fucking off-screen drain or some shit like that. Like how in Saint Seiya, it doesn't settle for that bullshit. It shows you all the times where they get stronger, they train. And it's a really wonderful thing. That's why I thought the writing in this episode was amazing. And additionally, the writing staff did a great job of making Saudi more than just damsel in distress when she supported Seiya. Because trust me, I've seen way too many action-oriented series where they make a female character and they, just make, the ca they make the female character just someone to be rescued. I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna name anything specific, but I've seen it happen. Way too many fucking times, and I love it. Yeah, here he didn't resort to that shit. And then aside from that, seeing Seiya's confidence grow was a wonderful thing too, and I love that. So I thought I did well from a character standpoint. Animation was above average. It was actually pretty dang good. I love it. You really got to see any stock footage utilized at all, and what, and anything that was unique was animated beautifully, and even the art was beautiful, like the Pegasus behind Seiya. And then, even the sequences that use speed lines, the hand-drawn images of Alberon and Say were drawn beautifully. So that's why I thought this episode was a brand spanking that it's on, y'all. So anyways, y'all, these are my thoughts on Saint Seiya episode 43. Be sure to comment and get thoughts on how I feel about my reaction in the comment section below. Rate the bitch, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later if you come back for more. Because I'm definitely going to be pumped up for the next episode. Alright, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great and safe day, and be sure to comment, rate the video, share it as many, in as many places as y'all want to. And yeah, have a great and safe day, and I'm most likely going to be reacting to the next episode. 99.99% sure. Tomorrow. Alright, y'all. Anyways, have a fun and great day. Bye-bye.